Right, Colombian National Champs is an absolute classic race, always happening. Early January, World Tour boys are in decent nick, but the Connie guys actually look all right. So anyway, what we have is Higita, Monster and Bernal in the chase group. Uh, they're like, what, 30 seconds-ish behind. So not, to be fair, out of the picture, mainly because it is a summer finish. It's about a 2k climb, starts on a motorway, goes up onto a kind of steep street. Out front, we had Alejandro Osorio, uh, Camilo Cristiano Munoz, who's for the national team, Santiago Marina and Bernardo Suaza. Uh, a couple of those are club riders, which is pretty impressive. Don't know I signed Connie, so fair play to the boys. Uh, but yeah, Bernal and Teguito attacked about 8k to go, uh, got away from most of the rest of the World Tour favourites. This break had gone very, very early. Quite a lot of people have been shelled from this break, so it's kind of just survival of the fittest, more or less. Um, and obviously there's a couple teams as well here. G GW Shimano did have some teammates, but they actually all seem to have basically uh, been dropped more or less. And yeah, so they're all solo at the moment and 4K back. We've 4K to go, sorry, it's pan flat, but it's about a climb, it could turn into a climb. And to be honest, Higita and Burnout, they really just had to crack it out. No risk, no glory no messing around because at the end of the day they need to catch these people first and the guys keep kept on attacking each other and that really is actually a massive 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 uh help uh because if they just actually rode to the bottom of the climb then there's zero chance and the gap with about 15k to go was one and a half minutes so it was it was a decent decent gap that Higita and Bernal were chowing through but it's also not like Higita had and Bernal were saved loads of energy it wasn't like they were catching towards the end like both of them well, all of them, sorry, were pretty cooked. So it's not like you expect them to close gaps massively. You can see here Osorio Munoz and David Gomez are all chasing here. And they're kind of messing around quite a lot, to be honest. But I think they knew. You can see they picked up another passenger, Higita and Bernal. Higita was doing, I'd say, most of the work. I obviously you know, haven't done any maths in here, but from watching it, it looked like he had done a bit more. But it is good to see Bernal looking in top condition again because he had some bad, bad injuries and obviously raced a lot last year. People criticised, but I can kind of get it. They just want him to get back to condition. So like, well, crack him in two grand tours, but not really too surprising that he wasn't firing on all cylinders last year. But hopefully this year, maybe he'll get a little bit better. Anyway, this boy is off the front, Bernardo Suaza. And yeah, like, I mean, it's if you don't have a sprint or you're not the best climber in the group, you just got to do something. It's better to attack than to sit in. If you sit in, you know, there's minimal chance of you winning against some of these people. Uh, and also, I think the other the other point is like Bernal and Higita are coming. Like, you know, there's a good chance they're going to mop up some podium places. So you might as well get out front early doors uh, and just, you know, roll your dice. What well, I do like to see this bike at the end. I think it's a BT. It's got exposed cables. Absolutely iconic. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, you can really see the difference between like the some of the World Tour boys and everyone else just towards the end of these races where they are just still so, 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 so strong. Like even though they have been in a break, like they're not going to be crazy strong because they're not as fresh. Like even so, they do just look like mega strong. The way like this guy's rocking on the bike and stuff is just like quite obvious to see that the World Tour boys are just... A lot more comfortable. Obviously, he's going to probably give it a bit more gas, but even so, uh, it is quite something to see. And so, yeah, two k to go. We're starting the climb now. It kind of gradually edges up, and then towards the end, it actually gets proper, proper steep. It also gets a lot narrower as well, which is really why positioning is actually quite important. Uh, just not because of it's like so narrow that in this group, it's more the fact that there are so many crowds uh, that you don't really want to be stuck behind. You can see it going into the sea there. I think this is in Boyaca, and yeah, there's the motorway climb. So you can see they're real close now. They're really, really close. And this is where it's like you expect Higita into Bernal to just thermo launch across this gap. You're like, they'll just close it so quickly. But because they've been chasing for so long, they don't actually have that much extra energy. It's not like it's a bunch where there's like 20 of them. People are mega fresh sitting on the wheels, and they can just do that five, 600 watts for a couple of minutes to get across. It's like, no, actually, they're, they're pretty, you know, they're red line. They've been, you know, chasing flat out for a long time and mostly it was two of them like yes they picked up some people on the way but they never really helped because they were cooked after being spat from the break so not exactly the people you want to help and you can see the gap here it doesn't look much they say 20 seconds i think it's a little bit less but even so like it really isn't visually as well that much at all and you can see higita here is really trying to go 
And I think in some ways, I don't know why maybe Hagia didn't go on his own in, in hindsight. Uh, maybe he thought Bernal was going to help, but Hagia did most of the work up this climb. And you can see here, Swaza still off the front, but it's not looking good. He's looking back. He's really laboring. The guys behind, you can see them. They're found across the road. Yeah, but it's like the way they're riding, it doesn't look like they're going full, full. Our poor boy from GW Shimano is about is just got dropped off their wheel, which is fair enough because Burnout and Higita Monster are going full. And you can see here it's starting to kick up quite significantly. You can see everyone in the same shot. Swazer off the front, everyone else looking behind. Um, and I think at this point you're going to be pretty confident Swazer's going to get caught. But the question really is: Is Burnout and Higita going to get across? Because in hindsight, you know it's it's hard to say really. It is a steep, but at the same time, I don't think the guys in front of them are going full, so they've probably got an acceleration in them. Uh, and it's still a long way to go. You know, this two kilometers has been long. We're approaching 1K to go there. You can see the banner just on the side of the road. Um, so, yeah, they're pretty pretty close. And again, here you can see Swazis leading them into one kilometer to go. But it, when it turns left in a couple hundred meters, it gets seriously steep. And that's where it starts to narrow as well with a lot of crowds. But Bernal and Higita Monster basically made... Uh, the junction here and you can see on the left hand side as you watch it uh, Alejandro Osorio for GW Shimano decides it's time to go now and that's it everyone else looks at each other um, Higita and Bernal again I think Bernal is fried here because he's really doing nothing uh, he's just literally holding Higita's wheel Higita starts sprinting now and I think he's just he, he knows that he's just basically got to do from here a max effort all the way to the finish and just hope that you know that's enough because he can't mess around. Everyone else is just waiting for him. He's the best sprinter here. So it does make sense that, you know, if you're burnt out, why would you do any work? You know, he's won a lot in his in his life. And you can see here, oh, Sorio coming past Swaza in front of everyone else. And that's basically it. Ciao, ciao. Thanks for coming. And here, Higita does look close. Higita, like, it's probably only five seconds. But realistically, it's hard to close because there's not actually that much uphill to go. It's maybe 10 10, 10, 15 meters, sorry, 10, 15 seconds more of uphill. Uh, and Swa and Osorio is just looking so, so strong. He used to ride for Bahrain, got kicked off the team. He rode for uh, Kaharal as well. So he's like, you know, won a stage in the under 23 Giro. Like this guy is good. You can see here once he's passed it. Ciao, ciao. Thanks for coming. Easy W. And look at that. Exposed cables. Never thought you'd see that in 2023. A big race, one with exposed cables. But anyway, Egamba now and Hagita on the line Higia looks like uh, sorry Bernal looks like he gave it to Higia but there you go pretty exciting finish send you a cheers for watching hope you enjoy this video and I'll see you in the next one